Okay, good morning and welcome to today's meeting with Be the Change. So we are going to go over the power of threes today. So if you have a notebook and pen, um, please get ready to take notes. I'm actually going to go through this pretty quickly this morning and then we'll have Q&A at the end. So write down any questions that you guys might have. Um, I actually learned about the powers of three when I first became a coach. And so I thought since a lot of us are new, this might be something um, that we should just focus on and kind of going back to the basics a little bit to help you guys um, with a plan that you could actually have and work on every single day. And I know that when you have a plan, it really helps to stay more laser focused and it'll help you to not kind of go here and there and feel scattered where you're not getting as much um, result in your business. So I thought this would be a good thing. Okay, so first of all, you need to have a system to track your business. So for me personally, I use notebooks. Um, it might not be the cleanest way to keep my desk clean, but it's just what works for me. Um, what I've seen work for others on our team is um, an Excel spreadsheet, a Google Doc. Um, I've also seen a couple of other things where people just track stuff through an email system. So it really is up to you. Whatever works best for you and your business, use that every single day. Um, okay, so here are a couple of things that you're going to be doing um, inside the Power of Three. Number one, you're going to be adding new friends to your network through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media platform that you use that you just love to be on, um, start there. What I would recommend so you don't get too overwhelmed is to only use a maximum of two social media platforms at a time so that you can actually get really, really good at those platforms um, before you take on something new um, because you don't want to get overwhelmed. Um, so what you're going to be thinking about when you're on these platforms is who do I know on Facebook? I'll just use Facebook since most of us are on there. Um, so who do I know on Facebook? You're going to start building relationships with people that you are already friends with. Okay, so you want to start there first. So you're going to start conversations three conversations with people that you already know every single day. So this is your first uh, power of three. So you're going to look at people who you already know. Um, you're just going to start asking them, you know, through private message. You can either do it through private message or you can do it just on their page and tag their name to make sure that they get it. But you're just going to ask them, um, about their family, how, you know, their job's going, um, you know, if you guys have ever done any, like, hobbies together, if you've ever taken a sewing class together, or any of those kind of things, you can just catch up with them and ask them how um, they're doing. So, an example, like, conversation starter could be, um, you know, hey, I haven't talked to you in a while, what's new, you know, um, or... I saw you were going on vacation to, you know, Hawaii last month. How did that go? Um, we were thinking about going there. What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Those types of things. Um, or maybe they got a new job. You know, you can ask them how their new job is going or how their kids are doing. Um, you know, if their kids are in any new sports that you can um, talk to them about. So you're going to start those three new conversations with your existing friends. Then you're also going to be adding three new friends per day. Okay, this is very important. You want those three new friends to be able to see what you're posting on your personal page about, you know, your workouts and what you're all about. Okay, so that's why it's really important to be adding to people 
every single day so that you're constantly getting that fresh new blood that's seeing what this person's about, um, how they can help me in my life. So to add three new friends a day, you're going to be, you know, finding those friends through your other social media platforms. Like if you have an Instagram account, you could actually um, ask those people to friend you on Facebook if they're not already your friend. Um, again, you can find um, new friends through Facebook groups. Um, I have a dog, and so I actually have a Cocker Spaniel dog. So what I actually do, um, and what's actually been working pretty well for me lately is um, I have this Cocker Spaniel group that I'm a part of, and so I'm getting to know other um, Cocker Spaniel mama and papas in the group, and so I've been able to private message them and say, hey, um, you know, my dog does this, does your dog do that too, and that kind of thing. So just building that relationship and then asking them to send you a friend request, um, and then they can get to know you as a coach. That's pretty cool. Um, then you're also going to... Oh, sorry, my dog. Here's my dog. <laughs> you see the squirrel. Okay, so uh, then you're going to invite three people every single day to either your free groups, so free clean eating, free squat challenge, free water challenge. You can make up whatever free thing that you guys want. It doesn't always have to be um, clean eating. Um, I personally love to do the clean eating groups because that, for me, is what was like the um, turnaround, the game changer for me in my um, weight loss journey was starting to eat clean. So that's what I like to focus on. But you don't have to do that. You can do, you know, drink a gallon a day water challenge or whatever. So you guys can make up something. Um, you know, you're going to be constantly inviting to your challenge groups um, and the biz op, okay, the business opportunity. So um, as you guys know, I started last week the business opportunity calls. I'm going to be doing those every single Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific. And I'm going to make sure that they go for 30 minutes. If they go a little bit over, that's okay. But I'm going to try and not take up too much of people's time. So as you're talking to people about the business opportunity, you guys will know that you will always have that place to invite them to, okay, to hear about it. Um, I'm always going to be telling a little bit about my story every week. Um, and I might even invite you guys on too just to kind of briefly tell what coaching um, has done for you so that people aren't always hearing, you know, from me. Um, so we'll be doing that every week. So you guys will know that you have that one place to invite them to every single week for a business opportunity. Um, then you're also going to be following up with three people every single day, okay? And when I say, like, three, this is the minimum, you guys, all right? The bare minimum. If you are wanting to build your business fast, you're going to want to be doing way more than three, okay? Uh, anywhere from 10 to 30 is if you're really wanting to build fast. But three is always going to be the minimum to at least get that part-time income going. So if you've talked to people about, um, you know, your challenge group, maybe from last month or the previous month, you can now go back to those people if they haven't already joined you in a challenge to let them know that you have an upcoming challenge group uh, give them the date of the new group, and then you're going to let them know that you would love to have them um, be part of your upcoming group and let ask them if they are ready or if they have any questions about um, the plan that you talked to them about, you know, in the previous month. Um, with your follow-ups, same thing. You're going to want to have a way to track your business with your follow-ups, too. So you want to actually have that way to so that you know Okay, I followed up with them um, once. I followed up with them three times. They told me don't, you know, follow up with me until like six months down the line or whatever. So you want to have that way um, to know um, who you need to follow up with and when to follow up with them so that you're not like bugging people. <laughs> um, and then you're going to, again, grow your team. Very important to grow your team if you guys are wanting to um, truly turn this into an income um, for you and your family because um, team volume is where it's at. I could be selling retail all day long, you guys, and that's great, but it's only $30 a pop, okay? 
And so if you're really wanting to grow your business, you need to build a team underneath you doing the same exact thing that we're doing. And Beachbody rewards us with a very high percentage on team volume. So you want to build that, that extra piece so that you're doing the retail and then the team volume, which can just, you know, explode in your income. So you want to be doing that. So make sure that you're at least inviting three people to the business opportunity call that we'll have every Thursday. So you're going to be inviting every week. <clears throat> you can do that through an event page. So you can actually create an event page to the business opportunity call. Um, and then you also want to be private messaging people too, because it does feel special to people when they feel like they've gotten that personal invite, okay? So that's the power of threes. If you guys focus on those every single day, you will have success in this business. You will. Um, it's what I did in the very beginning, and um, I was only working my Beachbody business part-time at that time because I was doing another business. Um, and I did the power of threes every day, and that is what helped me grow. Um, I think it was around the second, third month, I stopped doing just three, and I started doing, you know, 10 to 30, and that's what really helped me to start hitting those high uh, success club points and then start building the team um, at the same time. So, all right, I'm going to unmute you guys now, and if you have any questions, we will take uh, questions up until 9.30, so let me just unmute. Okay, so does anybody have any questions? I think you covered it all. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jessica. I hope you're Hi. better. <laughs> so um, you're okay? No questions? Um, no. I just need to work on adding new people. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, the best way to do that is Facebook groups. Or if you have a different platform on social media, like Instagram. Like, I'm on Instagram, and I add from there all the time. So, I have Instagram, but I'm not great with it yet. And I just, I want to stick to Facebook for now, because I'm very familiar with that, and it's easy for me. Yeah, and I'm going to still stop my learning as well. Um, I'm just now starting to kind of dabble in it, you know, but yeah. it's definitely a different animal. So if you're not uh, totally comfortable with Facebook and not rocking an asset, then I would definitely stay there. Yeah. yeah. I had a girl from, uh, I went to sixth grade through high school with message me last night. She's getting married in a couple months. So I'm hoping she's going to get a challenge back. She messaged me asking me what I was doing. So that is awesome. I love <laughs> <when> that happened. <laughs> And it was so out of the blue. She's like, I have to know what you're doing. I'm getting married soon. I need to lose 10 to 15 pounds. And I was like, okay, I can help you. Yes, awesome. So we'll and see. You know what? You posting your before and progress pictures, I'm sure, is having a lot of traction for you because it is. And it's scary. That's why I like, I always encourage people to do that, even though it's totally scary. But you're, like I told you, you're like this real person, and now they can relate to you even more. Like they already were, but now that you're being vulnerable and showing your progress, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, who's where I was or am, and I need to get, you know, those type of results too. So I had a friend I went to Girl Scouts with message me, and she's like, I'm so proud of you. She had just lost like 150 pounds. So she, oh man, me. that's so cool. So it's working. <laughs> it's, uh, it works and it feels good too. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, good job, girl. Keep it up. So, um, yeah, just, just focus on whatever your the piece is that you're missing from the power of three. Just start focusing more on that, and then you'll you'll see the business start to go up even more. <laughs> Thank you, okay. Kyla. Do you have any questions? No. You're all good? Are you doing the power of three? Yeah, I don't think you. Huh? I have to be friends. I just, I don't know. I'm, I haven't been inviting you. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> 
it's just life. I don't know. I've got things going on. If, if it's not one thing, it seems to be another. And then I, it's not like I forget to exercise and then I, oh, like, I think I emotionally eat. And then I'm like, what's the point of exercising? And then by the time I go to exercise, I'm like, why am I doing this? And my kid gets upset when I exercise. And yeah, you know, there's always going to be life stuff, always. Uh, to what degree it's going to be at is going to be different for all of us, but we all have stuff that gets thrown at us. Um, what I love about fitness and nutrition is that we can control that part, right? So we might not be able to control the stuff in life that comes at us if we get sick or if we get sick or whatever. But we can control what goes in our mouth. We can control getting our fitness in. Right? So you need to focus on what you can control and start controlling those things. And it's going to give you that sense of empowerment that you need to get through the rest of your day. So I would definitely focus on that. And um, inviting three people which is the bare minimum, is nothing. I mean, it's, you can do that in like a minute. All you have to do is just figure out what message that you want to send to someone, send it, copy and paste that, and send it to two more people. You know, that's it. So, I'm sure you can spend about five minutes doing that. <laughs> and I know that you want to make this a, a career, so. Um, you have to do the things that you can control every day and just focus on that and, and don't focus on the negative stuff Because you're letting the negative stuff Be who you are and that's not who you are. You are a person that wants to um, Help other people with their fitness and nutrition and The only way that we can truly do that effectively is if we're also working on ourselves Amen. <laughs> uh, does anyone else have any other questions? You guys are good? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys for jumping on. I'm going to be doing this every Tuesday. Um, Anita, it, her schedule is getting super crazy busy, and she's getting ready to go to Paris this weekend. And um, she has a couple other, um, like, now that she's up in the 15 stars, way up in the stars up here now. <laughs> um, she told me last night that she probably won't be able to get on with us as much. She might be able to pop on, you know, here and there. And I was like, yeah, don't worry about it. We're still going to meet, you know, um, and get caught up with each other. So um, I'm still going to continue these every Tuesday morning. I think it's really important for us as a team to have a day and time to meet with each other. Um, it's best for you to go over any struggles, you know, that we're having. Um, I have struggles, too, so I'm not without struggles. Um, I was telling Kyla last, I think it was last night, I feel like I'm going through a, a little bit of a midlife crisis thing. <laughs> I feel like I have, like, all this extra energy now that I have, um, have, you know, with working out and... I mean, this might sound weird and bad, but I feel like I don't relate to a lot of people my age right now. <laughs> it's really weird. Like, I've been feeling like that for probably maybe almost a year. And so I actually get along a lot better with people in high school. <laughs> so, anyway, I, I actually feel like I have the energy of a high schooler and, um, my I, my poor middle son. I'm like, is it okay that I'm talking to your friends, you know, more? And and he's like, yeah, don't worry about it. You're, he's like, you feel it feels like you're one of us. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, That's a good struggle to have. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it is. I mean, obviously, I, I need to have friends my own age still, you know, because you have to have that. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of what I'm going through. It's kind of a different, weird thing, but. Anyway, <laughs> all right, you guys, well, thank you. I'm really happy that you guys are on my team. I want you to know that. I think that you both are an amazing, amazing woman, 
Seriously, and I'm very, very proud of um, not only that you're on my team, but seeing you, you know, staying in your nutrition and fitness, talking about it, and um, helping other people. I can't even tell you what it does for me to watch you guys. I come to you, I'll you, and I literally will start crying. And my husband's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I'm like, I'm just so proud of that. <laughs> So, I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, I love you guys very much. And we will chat soon, probably on private message. <laughs> All righty. All right. Take care. Bye.